Okay, this is a quick little tutorial on how to add subsequent lyric tracks so that you can have multiple voices singing at the same time. We started our brand new uh, track setup. We're going to go into our new timing, which is blank from here. We're going to go into import lyrics, and I have downloaded the lyrics for the song that I'm working on. Place these in here, and I know that the song actually starts at 12 seconds. So my start time is going to be 12 point, I think it's 500, and then it ends at the end of the song. And that's a rough estimate to go ahead and just get the lyrics out there into the music. Okay, once you have your primary track broken out and all the words and phonemes uh, broken down, then you start listening for those alternate tracks. And in this case, uh, where it says your love ran red, there's actually somebody in the background that shouts out ran red. Um, and that's roughly at three minutes, 19 seconds. Now, translating that for me has been kind of difficult. I think it's three times 60. So roughly, I believe I figured that one out is going to be at 200 seconds. So. I'm going to grab the words ran red and ooh because they do that just a little bit after that and I'm going to go in and create a new timing track. We're going to call, say empty is okay, and we're going to call this uh, secondary lyrics. And I'm going to right click and I'm going to choose import lyrics. And here I've already got these into a file. They are not in the text file if you download, but if you listen with headphones, you can hear what people are saying in the background. That's how you can get that, at least on this song. 200, and I'm not gonna go 250. I want it to truncate before the end of the song because it's a little easier to manage and move um, to, to, to fit the music. So right now I'm just gonna say 220, and it should be pretty close to where we're at in the track. Yep, yeah, that's, that's pretty close, so. Uh, if it's selected, unselect it, and now I can move things around. There we go. And I know that that's going to start roughly right in here. Unfortunately, I'm not going to play the music for copyright purposes. I'm going to grab this and bring this guy right about there. Because that's where it is, but you get the gist. Now you sit down and listen to it and make sure that you get it and you got it just right. And once you have that right, go ahead and break down that phrase and then listen to each one and adjust accordingly until you make sure you're right about where you need to be. Then go ahead and select the entire T of the group and break down selected words. And now those are there. And now you can bring out a chroma bulb. Okay, take two on that one as my kid ran into the room right as I was about to go ahead and bring in the chroma bulb, and I want to see the chroma bulb seeing the secondary track. So simply going to go ahead and drag out the face icon onto, let's just choose chroma bulb two for now. Now to make sure I align it right, I do want to go ahead and select secondary track, and now I can see that I can move this over a little bit, and I can move this over a little bit, and I see that I've got that part, but I need to go over and make sure that the chroma bulb is singing this track and not the primary lyrics. And that is over here in our effect settings. And right now it's set to primary. So I want to change that down to secondary lyrics. And now this guy here is singing the ran red, while this guy here is singing, there we go. He's singing the primary and he's set up in the primary. He's singing the ran red and he is singing in the secondary lyrics. And so that's all you need to do. You can come over and adjust the ooh and move it to where it goes and then add the same scenario. And if you need to add a third track, you can go ahead and add a third track. I think I actually had four because I found four separate voices all singing over the top of each other different parts in the song. I hope that helps.